Hi everyone, I hope you're having a wonderful and a great, great sunny afternoon. So, so today I'm going to do subtraction in Abacus. So here we are, as you can see, subtraction is very similar to addition when you're calculating in Abacus. Like, it's pretty simple, pretty similar, but instead of adding, you subtract the beats. So I'm going to detailly show you how to subtract in Abacus. But, but before we get started, I want to tell you something that if you have not watched my previous video about adding in Abacus, please be sure to check that out. And also, yesterday, I went, I went to a lake. It was pretty cool, and it was like, uh, it was like, I, I think it was sunset, yeah, it was sunset time, like, it was in that noon, sort of, in the evenings, and, like, um, the sunset and stuff like that, so, let, I'm gonna, um, like, flashback to that period, and let's, let's check it out. Hi friends, so today, me and my family are at Calcio Lake. So here it's pretty, it's pretty good, good outside. I see uh, like there's a lot of water. It, it's so cool to see it. like the like and, like there are lots of trees over there, and the like, and the lake is shining and like that. So so it, it looks so fun, and but the water is shimmering because the sun's setting over there, and the lake um might be pretty cold. Like. Um, not much rocks are here though, but the water's not like right over there. Like, it, it's also like it has like uh, cold winds and stuff like that, so it's pretty cool to see. I think I see a bridge right here. pretty big and the water is like coming out over here it's a little bit muddy but the water is right there it's like a couple of rocks because like erosion right uh, uh, a little bit of rocks are in the middle of the, of the lake there's a moon right there the moon up there right there and it, like it's, it's still sunny but you can see the other parts of the lake. Like no. So I'm <coughs> so I'm in a playground where the kids kids play and so it's pretty nice here. So like um the background is cool, I have a bunch of trees right there, two rocks over there, the benches, you sit over at lawn, stuff like that. This is a playground. Like it has a slide and uh, rock or climbing thing, uh, a little bit of bridge, and a, uh, like a, um, thing to look at it, that's a, st that's a ladder, and a bunch of spots are here, so over here you can see there's a slide, a big one, two small ones and a big one, I think you should go with a big one, yeah, big one is the best, okay, <laughs> That was fun. I think you go again. So here we are. I have the Abacus kit. So I want to tell you a ground rule. Like whenever you add or subtract. Like if it's all jumbled up. Like you always have to like put it to zero. So a zero position will be helpful. Because whenever you add or subtract. It will not be that wordy and that and that confusing. So just take out all of it and just do like a zero, a simple position. And so here we go. So it's pretty simple. Take out the beads. So here we have an example. 272 minus 12. Take out the 1 in the 10th place. Take out the 2 in the 1's place. 
and you have 260. Another example could be 982 minus um, 31. So let's take out the 3 in the tenths place. And let's take out the one in the ones place. And now you have got 951. Another example. 986 minus 281. So take out the 2 in the hundreds. Take out the 80 in the tens place. Take out the 8 in the tens place. And take out... um. One in the ones place, so you have seven hundred five. That's the answer. So, so that's how you, that's how you use subtract in the backus. Here we are. So now you know how to subtract in perfectly in the backus, and I hope you like today's video and also the visit to the, to the lake. And and I will see you next time in my next video. And stay tuned. Bye.